Hi there, I'm Beth, and this week I'm delighted to be joining my close Dolly friends in a collaboration hosted by Tammy Powley of Peacecraft Dolls. She got in touch with Marna of Dolls Rescued, Jay from Jay Dolls UK, and myself to see if we'd be interested in making doll dresses in the Regency style to celebrate the newest season of the TV show Bridgerton. Despite having never watched it myself, I said yes and I was immediately tempted into getting out some of my books on historic clothing and corsetry, though only one of them really covered the Regency period well. I watched a little video about the costumes of Bridgerton that Tammy had sent us, and combined with my reference books, I hatched a plan. I looked in my fabric stash for something appropriate and decided to use this gorgeous patterned cotton that Marna from Dolls Rescued had sent me. The pattern is so tiny, it's perfect for this scale. I'm also going to use some fabric from this vintage nightdress. I had cut it up many years ago and you can see me using some of it in a nightdress making video that I will link here. I'm drawing up a plan for myself. I want a white underdress back fastening with a high empire waistline. I'll add an overdress in blue and will try to include the diamond shaped back that was typical of the period. I change my mind about the sleeves and will instead add them to the overdress that will wrap over in the front. As I pondered the nightdress fabric, choosing which parts to use, I realised that this section here looks as though it was already bodice shaped. I thought I could simply cut out a section to use for my dress. Here, I cut away one of the strap shapes, folded and gathered it slightly to be the bodice centre front. If I just join the straps at the shoulders and fold in the back, then gather it under the bust, it'll be a lovely bodice. Here all that's done, and the under bust is gathered with two lines of stitching. I'll cut a section with a lacy hem, gather it to match, and attach. That's my bodice top and skirt ready to sew, but first I wanted to show you how I've been able to get some very narrow lace to add to my doll clothes recently. This is 2 inch wide lace from AliExpress. I bought it because I can see where I could cut it down to make various narrower lace pieces, like this. Now I can use lots of different trims from one original lace. Keep your eyes peeled for lace like this if you want to try it. It could work for lots of other lace types too. Back to my dress. The skirt is attached and I'll add a snap fastening to the back. It fits very nicely and goes right down to her feet. Next I do some pattern making. I want to have that diamond shaped back I kept seeing in the old drawings, so I draft some pieces to achieve that without excess bulk. Let's see if it works. <laughs> I've cut the sleeves, two front pieces and a back piece. I plan to have this fasten by crossing over in the front. Here's the fronts and back joined and I've top stitched the seams to emphasise the shape. Next I'll gather the sleeves and insert them by hand. Here's one done. And now the second. 
I had to do them differently than usual. Since the armhole is already closed, I close the sleeve sides before gathering the sleeve cap. Then aligning it with the bodice, I can then hand sew it in place. Here are both sleeves in with the cuffs gathered and I will need to gather the sides and back. First though, I add some silver cord for the closure and some lace trim to the sleeves. The sleeves are done and I've hemmed the neckline too. Here I've put together an outer skirt piece. This will attach leaving the front open and is longer in the back. Now the skirt is attached and you can see the crossover working in the front. I think the overall shape looks really nice. I put on another skirt under the dress as it's a little too sheer on its own. And I've tried on these shoes I made years ago too. This peachy pink silk ribbon will look really nice against the blue. And I have some nice fabric in a similar colour that I'll try making long gloves with. While I was at it, I made myself some new shoes using the pink fabric. So everything matches well. Head over to bethramsden.com to get some free shoe patterns if you like this style. I hand stitched the gloves and I think they look convincing enough. I stitched a ribbon to the bodice front and now I'm going to try adding more detail to the outer dress using lace flowers that I'll cut out and rearrange on the dress. My shoes are finished. I added narrow lace and nail art bows to them. Pretty cute. And here's how my lace came out. I'm really happy with it. I added tiny silver domes to the flower centres and put some on the sleeves and back of the dress too. Well, despite not having seen the show yet, I really enjoyed putting together this outfit. How do you think I did? Is historical dress something you enjoy for your dolls? Well, thank you so much for watching, as always. Please watch until the end to see all the little details, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!